South Texas Border Patrol agent is facing the death penalty. He was indicted on two capital murder counts. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez spoke with the Webb County District Attorney about why he is seeking the most severe penalty possible. Investigators and prosecutors believe Border Patrol agent Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles killed Griselda Hernandez and her one-year-old son Dominic while on duty. The information we have is that he, he clocked in that morning at 6 a.m and that, that we believe the murder occurred somewhere between 9.55 a.m. and 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. Webb County District Attorney Isidro Alaniz says he is pursuing the death penalty for the Laredo Sector Border Patrol agent because he used his job as a way to commit the murders. Starting off with that he's law enforcement and that he used uh, his uniform and his specialized skill to carry out the crime uh, decide when, where, how he was going to do the crime, how he tried to cover up the crime. Witness testimony from other agents reported Burgos as acting strangely and disturbing the crime scene by moving the body, stepping in the blood splatter, and erasing splatter around the mother's body. Alani said they don't have the murder weapon or the clothes used during the crime. He still feels confident in the evidence gathered at the scene, the inconsistent statements, forensic cell phone technology, and physical and circumstantial evidence. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.